Hi everyone and welcome back to another Placeit tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create apparel mockups. These are mockups just like this, they are for t-shirts, they are for different types of apparel, and additionally I'll show you how to create garment only mockups, and then lastly I'll show you how to create completely free mockups that you don't have to pay for with a Placeit subscription. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first things first is we need to go over to placeit.net. Now, if you are new to Placeit, it is a paid subscription service. And with that being said, if you don't have a membership already, I put my affiliate link down in the description, which also offers 15% off of any of their plans. Now, if you use that link to sign up, it helps support this channel and also gives you a discounted rate. So that should create a win-win. So with that being said, once you're signed up and you're logged into Placeit, here's where we begin. So the first thing we've got to do is hover over mockups and look at all of the headings up here. These are all the different types of mockups that they have available. Now in this video, I want to show you apparel mockups. So typically people would go over to t-shirts, but what I recommend for you is to actually click apparel right here. And by doing this, what it's going to do is not only give you t-shirts, but give you all different apparel items as well. Like this, for instance, is a collared shirt and different types of shirts throughout. Now, if you look on the left side over here, you can see all the different categories you can choose from. So if you're looking for something specific, you can come and select it over here. Additionally, if you scroll to the top, you can select that over here. So this is just a nice shortcut to see everything at once rather than just coming into the t-shirts tab, which was the one we saw up top here in the beginning. Now, another good tip I can pass on to you from experience is you can use this down arrow over here to select best selling or newest. If you click best selling, this is going to show you the most popular mockups, which are most popularly downloaded. Now further, if you click the down arrow and you switch it to newest, then you can see the mockups that were most recently added. So the least amount of people are going to be using them on the internet. So with that being said, let's go ahead and select one of these and show you how to create the apparel mockup that we're talking about in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here. This is one we'll use for this example. So all you have to do is click on it once. So once we reach this page, this is where we can start to customize this specific mockup. So starting on the left side, we have add text. And once we click this, it's going to add in a text box that doesn't get added to the actual shirt, but gets added to the image. So if we need to write something on this image to make it more fit for our purposes that we want this mockup for, this is the tool we will use. Now to change the text, all you do is highlight. To change the font, you select from this dropdown. And to change the background color and the font color, you select that in here. Now, if you decide that you don't want this text anymore, you can do one of two things. One, you can just drag it out to the side, or two, you can turn it right off. Now, below the text area is where we have our upload image. This is primarily what this tool is made for. This is the button that you click and you choose from your computer to upload the graphic that you want on the mockup. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a t-shirt design that I created on Placeit in a previous tutorial that I'll link up here in the corner, and I'll show you how that process goes. So once you click upload image, it'll open up your computer files. You just select the design that you want uploaded. And once you select it, just give it a minute to load and you can adjust the crop and you can go in as far as you want. Just make sure that your whole design is within the boundaries and nothing is cut off. Then just go ahead and hit crop. Give it a second to load here and it'll show it on the shirt. Now, as you can see, this design is a little bit too low for what I prefer. So what I'm going to do is go back and adjust the crop. I'm going to move it up in the shirt. Make sure the sides stay in as well and hit crop again. And then this will show what that looks like on the shirt. Now you can't directly adjust the size of this on the shirt. So if we want to make this a little bit smaller, let's say that it's too far on the sides. I don't want the design to be that big. All we do is go back to crop. And from here we zoom out slightly. So by zooming out like that, we hit crop again. Watch it'll make the design smaller. So as you can see, to move the design around the shirt and get it put exactly where you like on the shirt in the exact size, you just use this crop tool right here. Now the last two things we have on the right side are one to adjust the color of the shirt. If we want to change that, we just click a few buttons and we can change it to any color that we want. Now if a color that you want is not shown exactly in here, you can go to more and you can put in the exact code or you can select a custom color over here. Now just be sure once you drop this here, make sure you hit choose and that will actually apply that color. Now to minimize this again, just hit less and you can switch it to any color you want. The one that you chose that was custom will be shown at the bottom. Now, once we're done with that, the last option that we have here is to add a graphic from Placeit's graphics library. So if we click this, it will bring up their search of all of their graphics that are fully commercially usable. You can search for anything that you want and you can click to apply it to your design. Again, this is not going to be added to your actual shirt, but if you're adding it with text or you need something over top of your design, feel free to add graphics this way. 
Remember that all the graphics that you add here are fully commercially usable, and you have the option of adding a custom image by clicking this button right here, which will allow you to add your brand's logo or something to that effect. Now, if you decide you don't want this in the image, feel free to just drag it to the side. So just like that, we've customized our first t-shirt mock-up, and all we have to do now is click download. Once you click download, it'll give you a couple reminders here, one saying that there are no place it watermarks on here. The format is a high resolution PNG, and the size of this is 1440 by 2160 pixels. Now on different mockups, they have different aspect ratios, so you'll see that these pixels do fluctuate from design to design, but just know that whatever you're downloading is going to be high resolution. Now the last thing above the download button is it says commercial usage is okay. This is a huge point in itself and it means that we can commercially use this. So we can use it in our business, we can use it as a means to profit from, and keep in mind that not all design and mock-up tools come with commercial usage rights. So all we have to do here is click download now and give it a few seconds, we'll get a pop-up in the top right corner that shows us that our download is ready. All we have to do is click the download button once we get a check mark over here and it'll download straight to our computer. Now something to keep in mind is that at any point you can click the downloads button and it'll bring you to all the downloads and all the designs and mockups that you've created on your Placeit account before. You can see them all in one place. Now that we've got our pop-up saying that it's ready to go, all we do is click here to download. And that downloads straight to our computer. We can just click to open this. And just like that, we've got our mock-up downloaded and ready to go. We can post this anywhere we like. And as you can see, when you zoom in, the quality of this is absolutely great. So guys, that is the first way to create apparel mockups with placeit.net. The second way I wanna show you is how to create garment only apparel mockups. So to do this, all we do is hover over mockups and then go to garment only over here. And what this is going to do is allow us to create mockups without people in it. So if we wanna display our items without having an actual person in it, these are very creative and professional ways to do it. Now again, at the top here, we can sort this by whatever product we are specifically looking for. So if we are looking for a t-shirt, we can just click that and it'll show us all of the mockups that come with only t-shirts, no people in them, and only the garment. So again, on the left side, you can switch this to best selling and newest, the same as we did in the other search. And some of these are really cool. So again, I'll show you how to do this. All we do is click on one of these. I'll do this one in full speed so you guys can see how quick you can really do this. And all we've got to do is give it a second to load. We can adjust the size, make it exactly how big we want it to be and exactly where we want it on the shirt. I'm going to switch this one to a different color shirt. And that looks good to go. Now all we've got to do is download it. And once we get the check mark up top, that means that this design is ready to go and we can download it straight to our computer. All right, we've got the check mark. Click here to download. And just like that, we have our second mock-up made. As you can see, it only takes a matter of seconds really to create new mockups and you can browse and make them however you want. They're all coming with commercial usage rights. Now, the last thing in this tutorial, as promised in the beginning, is what if you do not have a placeit.net subscription? How can you create these completely for free? So that's what I wanna show you right now. If you hover over mockups and you go to free mockups, what this is going to do is take you to their free page. So everything that you see that has a free ribbon over the corner means that you do not need to have a paid subscription to place it to actually download it. Now, something to keep in mind here is that it's going to show you designs, mockups, videos, everything all in one place. So this is everything that's free on Placeit. Now for us, we're really just looking for mockups in this example. So as you can see, there's a couple right here, but the rest of these are all designs. So what I recommend doing is coming over to the side here and sorting it by what you're looking for. So let's go with a t-shirt. And now it'll bring us to all of their completely free t-shirt mockups. So we can choose any of these and we can customize them completely for free and download it without having a paid Placeit subscription. Now this one's kind of cool. It actually comes with an illustration over your mockup. So we can add our design in the side and then we can adjust the color of the graphic over here. So for instance, this is a blue. So maybe we want to go with a blue or a yellow to match. And as you can see, that adds a nice effect to this. And we can even change out the designs if we want to. As you can see, Placeit makes this super easy to use. And then once you're happy with it, just go ahead and hit free download. Download this one to your computer. And now we have our third one downloaded right to our computer, all within the matter of minutes. So guys, I hope this video has helped you a bit on creating apparel mockups on Placeit.net. Don't forget the link for 15% off is down in the description. It is my affiliate link, so if you do use it, thank you so much in advance. And if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to me anytime in the comments. If you have any specific Placeit tutorials you'd like to see in the future, also feel free to leave that in the comment. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.